Hello, hello, Fawn here with another artwork tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to split up large artwork onto multiple stencils so that you can combine stencils to make a larger sign. With Icon Art stencils, there's no size limitation. We do have two different size stencils, 10 by 12 and 12 by 18, but you can combine multiple stencils to make absolutely any size you want. Great for porch leaner signs or larger wood rounds or really whatever you want to make with it. So we're going to be using a free online graphics editor again today, Vector. It's a great intro beginner program and uh, that is what we're going to be using today. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be using one of the designs from our website today. So I'm just going to resources, free artwork, and I'm going to be splitting up the fall bucket list sign. So this one, I'm going to be making it into multiple stencils so that I can make it really big. <laughs> like a porch leaner kind of thing. So. This is the design, so I just scroll down here, click download SVG, right click and save that to my desktop, perfect. And then I don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to go to vector.com, V-E-C-T-R.com and log into my account. We do have a tutorial that is way more in depth um, if you're just getting started, I'll link that below, uh, but this is just like one thing you can do in it. So I'm just gonna log into my account. So this program is completely free. It's all online. You don't have to download anything. So I'm just gonna select new artwork and I am going to be printing on eight and a half by 11 today. So even though my artwork's gonna be bigger, the size I'm actually printing on is the way I like to set up my artboard. So I'm just gonna choose my eight and a half by 11 portrait print document. So this is my eight and a half by 11 print size that I can work with. And then when I bring my artwork in, I'll resize that to be the actual size of my surface. So let's just open up the file first. So I'm just going to click that little cloud button and go to my bucket list sign. And I'll just ungroup that. All right, perfect. So now when I select this, the size is 3.4 by 9.8. So let's see what width I actually have to work with. So I have this board, like a porch leaner type board. So my width can be, what if we do like maybe a, like six inch width would be good, I think. So that would give me still like a border around it. Just really depends on what you're working with. But I think if I do this design as six inches wide, it'll look good. So let me group this together and make this six, in six inches wide. I wanna make sure that this lock button is selected so that it scales everything proportionally. But if I type in six right here, it'll automatically adjust the height as needed. All right, so it looks like this artwork would be 16 or six by 17. So let me scale out a little bit. All right, so that looks good. So now you have a couple options. I like to keep some of my artwork on both stencils. So my first stencil, let me ungroup this. I'm gonna copy it. All right, so I am going to, whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna delete all of this stuff that doesn't fit. And then I'm going to center this a little bit better on the page. All right, and then I am going to click add page and I'm gonna make sure it's, oops, eight and a half by 11. All right, so my first page is up to crisp air walking. And now my second page, I'm going to paste my design. And I'm actually gonna keep crisp air walking on both stencils. So I'm gonna delete that off of there and select all by hitting Control A. And then I'm just gonna bring this up here and group that together. 
So now you can see my first stencil will have all of this on it, crisp air walking, up to crisp air walking. And then when I print this stencil, I'll be able to use this to line it up exactly with my first stencil. That's completely optional. I wouldn't need to keep crisp air walking on there if you don't want to. If you just want to eyeball it, you certainly can. It's really going to depend on your artwork. Some artwork is more critical to line up exactly. This one, you could certainly eyeball. It would be no problem. Uh, but it's really just going to depend on your artwork and what you're needing out of it. But this to me works good. And then if I would want to add something like a family name or something like that, I certainly could add that down here and just type in the Swansons, select all and change the font over here. You can add fonts from your computer if you have a specific font that you wanna use. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use one of their standards, Montserrat, kind of like my go-to. <laughs> And then let's see. Get me out of there. <laughs> All right. And then press the escape button to give me my controls. And I'm going to make that a little box a little bit bigger. And I'm going to adjust the font to be bigger as well. And then I'm also going to space out the letters quite a bit. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. Make them a little, actually, I kind of like that, smaller like that. So once I have the font the way I want it to look, then I outline it by going right clicking and selecting outline text. And that looks really good. So that's optional, you could add whatever you want or whatever. But now you have two separate eight and a half by 11 printable pieces of artwork and then you can just print each one. So you can just go up here. If you want to mirror the artwork, you can. You simply, whoops, you simply select it and click flip horizontal right here. And then you can go over here to click export. And that is where you will find your print button. Or you can save as an SVG directly to your uh, printer or to your computer as well. <clears throat> So make sure if you, when you click print, that you're going into your own, your printer dialog settings on the bottom and adjusting your preferences to print as dark as possible. So you're gonna adjust your paper and your, how much ink it's laying down. And then you're good. So that's all there is to it. Like I said, it's really gonna depend on your artwork as far as how you split it up. Each sign I make that's bigger than eight and a half by 11, I do a little bit differently because it's really determined by the artwork. So if you have any questions about splitting up artwork onto multiple stencils, or if you have specific artwork that you wanna see me film a tutorial on, you can always send me the artwork and I can film a tutorial with your actual artwork. And that sometimes is really helpful for people too. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload. Have a great day.